The most expensive countries to buy cool used cars. We recently showed you a 986 Porsche Boxster S as part of our latest awesome affordable car series. It's a car that offers amazing value for money with prices for one of these starting at around £5,000. That's the equivalent of US$6,800 or around €5,600. That means that yes, the used car market in the UK is one of the best in the world, where a car lover's favourite is priced more cheaply than many enthusiasts around the world could imagine. Want an S2000? Upwards of £6,000 is all you need in the UK. How about a 2009 Nissan GTR? Can you believe you can pick one of these up for under £30,000 now? Which got me thinking about countries on the opposite side of the spectrum, where prices of used cars are expensive and seemingly out of reach. So without further ado, here's a selection of some of the world's most expensive places to buy cool used cars, like the ones I mentioned just now. Singapore. Singapore tops the list as the most expensive country to buy a cool used car. As an example, a Mark 1 Mazda MX-5 with a fresh 10-year certificate of entitlement will cost you around 60,000 Singapore dollars. That's an impressive 33,000 pounds in the UK, which would buy you 15 really nice Mark 1 MX-5s. Want an E46 BMW 330ci? That'll set you back 75,000 Singapore dollars or 41,250 pounds which gets you 10 330Cis in the UK. If money is no object and if GTR is life, then why not splash out on an R35? Yours for 178,500 Singapore dollars or 98,175 pounds. And we're not talking a 2018 model here either. This is for an early car that you can buy in the UK for less than a third of the price. So why are car prices in Singapore so high? The biggest reason is the certificate of entitlement I mentioned earlier, which is a document that allows you to own the car for 10 years. After this 10 year period, an owner needs to renew the certificate, which can cost tens of thousands of dollars in some cases, Otherwise, all cars 10 years and older will be scrapped. That's why cars with a new certificate will cost a lot more to buy used than a car that has a few months of entitlement left. For new cars, an additional registration fee of 100% and up of the cost of the car means that even before the COE is factored in, you've already paid two times the price of the car. Brazil Brazil ranks in the top 10 largest car producers in the world, where manufacturers such as BMW, Fiat, Ford, General Motors, Honda, Hyundai, Nissan, Toyota, Mitsubishi, Mercedes, Renault and VW all make their cars. Owning a new car in Brazil is a challenge, however, because Brazil-made cars that are intended for the domestic market are the only affordable option for most drivers. That's because import costs for more interesting cars can be up to 100% the value of the vehicle. Despite Brazil's astronomical taxes, the used car market does have some gems, though. Take the E92 M3 as an example. Yep, you can buy one of those in Brazil, but at the handsome price of 165,000 Brazilian real or 38,000 pounds in UK money. By contrast, that 38,000 pounds gets you a two-year-old F80 M3 with low miles or 2.7 E92 M3s. To Indonesia now and another example of being in the wrong country as a car enthusiast with a penchant for fast metal. A 2013 R35 GTR with low miles will set you back around 2.35 billion Indonesian rupiah. Don't worry that much because the exchange rate is 0.000052 per pound. But still, that's the equivalent of 122,000 pounds. The UK price for a 2013 GTR is 50,000 pounds, by the way. A 2013 Maserati Gran Turismo costs 3 billion Indonesian rupiah, while the UK reigns supreme again at 50,000 pounds. At the lower end of the spectrum, a 2011 Nissan 370Z will set an Indonesian buyer back around 1.1 billion rupiah or 57,000 pounds. The price in the UK for one of these is roughly 20,000 pounds. Australia. Used car prices in Australia are around double that of those in the UK. Despite the fact that like the UK, Aussies also drive on the left side of the road in right-hand drive cars. Take the E46 M3 as an example. It is, in my opinion, the best M3 there has ever been, and is priced accordingly in Australia at upwards of $30,000 or £17,500. UK prices for a similar 2005 SMG equipped M3 are around £8,500. Closer to home, used car prices in Finland also get an honourable mention, 
where an EP3 Honda Civic Type R costs €6,500, which is the equivalent of almost £5,800 or $7,800. And while I hate to rub it in, the same car in the UK would set you back under £2,000. Portugal is another expensive country to buy cool used cars in comparison to the UK. Examples include the 986 Boxster S, prices of which float around the €30,000 mark, while a Honda S2000 will set you back around €35,000 or £31,000. And like I said at the beginning of the video, you can pick one of these up in the UK for upwards of £6,000. To conclude, compared with many countries, including much of Europe, the UK is a mecca for car enthusiasts. So why is it that cool used cars cost so little? The fact that all cars here are right-hand drive helps, because who wants to drive a right-hand drive car in a left-hand drive country? Then you have to remember that car tax, fuel and insurance prices are so high here that it makes it almost unfeasible in some cases, especially for drivers under 30, to own a big engine car despite it costing very little to buy. To give you an example of how much we pay for fuel, one litre, that is 0.26 gallons by the way, of unleaded petrol here costs an average of £1.21, which is the equivalent of $1.64 or €1.36. Ouch! What are used car prices like where you live? Let us know in the comments below. My mission is to win all the mean people like Kevin over by looking at the Kia Stinger GTS's good points and bad points. Let's start with the good. Welcome everybody and welcome Kevin and friends 